Hey guys, Kimber Schaefer here with Rage in the Cage OKC News and exciting, exciting things happening for Rage in the Cage. But tonight we are talking all things Rumble at Fire Lake Arena, also known as Rage in the Cage 35. It's coming up on March 7th. And I have one of the lucky guys that got an amateur spot on this card. This is a mostly pro card, but Jeremy, you landed a spot. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm excited. Um, I'm fighting an uh, opponent I was supposed to fight in January. Some stuff happened. That fight got canceled, but uh, it's back on, so I'm excited. Well, I'm excited, too, and let's talk a little bit about you've got one fight under your belt. Um, you have been training for quite a few years. You actually are a uh, sergeant, is that what you said, in the U.S. Army? Staff sergeant. Staff sergeant in the U.S. Army and um, trained in Army combatives. So tell us a little bit about that and why you ended up in MMA. Um, Army combatives, they do a lot of uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu type stuff, so I just have a Brazilian jiu-jitsu background, just fell in love with it, and... Uh, Ended up training at uh, the Gracie Gym in El Paso and uh, got to know a couple buddies down there. They all fought pro and they got me into it. So once I got, uh, once I got into uh, getting punched in the face, I kind of loved it. So how did you end up training with Jeremy? Is it because you were um, training at Redline and you guys just kind of met up there? Uh, no, actually, um, he uh, works or is uh, from Hell Fighter as well as I am and uh, we just hooked up one day and decided to start training together, and it's gonna it's gonna show at this next fight. I was gonna say, how's that working for you? Uh, six days a week we train, um, from five to whenever we get done, and we go train at uh, Redline as well. Okay, so you're doing training at Shape Fitness in Midwest City and Redline, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. All right. So tell me a little bit about. You said you have a jujitsu background. What do you consider your strengths now, though? Uh, right now, I mean, jujitsu is still my strongest suit but uh my stand-up is come a long way from my first fight all right so um i know that you are probably training with the same boxing um instructor that jeremy is training with and he's been very secretive about this so um what can you tell us about your stand-up uh just uh it's gonna be something to see if he wants to stand up uh it's gonna be a mix big mistake for him you are definitely ready, it sounds like it. Well, we are so looking forward to seeing you on this card and just everything that you have ahead in your career. And I love it when guys start out as amateur and we get to follow your career. So let's talk about your career. What are you expecting out of this? Um, you know, I'd like to uh, take probably five or six fights this year and then turn pro by the end of the year at the latest. So, and then, you know, just work my way up to the big shows just like every other fighter wants to do. And, you know, one thing that I like to ask amateurs and, and, and people that are kind of a little bit new to this game, you've got one fight under your belt, a win, obviously, um, is ask you a little bit about you. And, you know, um, you've got a lot of fans out there that are going to see this. So what do you think people are going to want to know about you? Anything interesting that you think um, you would want to share? I mean, if you want to try something like this, go ahead and do it. I'm married with three kids. And my wife totally supports this. She's at home right now with the kids. So anybody, if you train hard enough and you want to do it, you can do it. Well, that was definitely interesting because I had no idea you were married with three kids. You look so young. Um, I, I just love it. I love it when a family embraces this. And, they're, and your, your wife is obviously embracing your dream, so kudos to her. Yes, uh, we're actually about to hit our 10-year anniversary. So she, uh, she definitely stuck by me through a lot, through the Army and now through this. So I'm a lucky guy. You are a lucky guy, and you guys are lucky that you're going to get to see him in the cage. Just his second fight in his amateur career, and it's all going down. Rage in the Cage 35, also known at Rumble at Fire Lake Arena. We hope to see you there on March 7th. Of course, you can get your tickets at the CPN box office website, or you can uh, go online to our Facebook site, Facebook at Rage in the Cage OKC, uh, or you can get the tickets from any of these fighters. They still have some in hand, and we hope to see you there. You have no excuse.